Harp Woods here, artsbydylan.com, coming with you with a little bit of sad news. One of the founding members of National Lampoons, which created some of the greatest movies of all time, including one of my favorites, Animal House, P.J. O'Rourke, the author of this book, uh, died today on Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. He was 74 years old. Uh, although he was conservative, he was quite funny. And even though I might be too young to remember him on television during the 1990s, he oftentimes had the Stephen Colbert-esque satiric personality. Uh, that was great. And he was a very fascinating writer and entertaining writer. And as a writer, I enjoy good English. And he definitely had a, had a way with words that was pretty, pretty damn good. So... This one, for example, is a book I picked up of his, Modern Manners by P.J. O'Rourke, the etiquette book for rude people. And this book came out in 1989. Now, I should tell you, I have not read every single Manners in here, but however, all of them are good. He's a fantastic satirical writer, and Manners books Books on manners, as I say, Emily Post, or as the Kingsmen say, manners make it the man. P.J. Work wrote a book on manners. And this is just the introduction, page one, not even page one. Manners, why have the things at all? This is how it begins. The modern world is, horrid, is a horrid place. It lacks anything enduring and true. It is devoid of every tenable value. All existence is in disarray. Religious beliefs are no longer believed. Love is much discussed but little practiced. Morals are in confusion when they are in evidence at all. And intellect is no consolation. Modern intelligence has become well nigh intelligible. Given that life is such a mess, why should anyone care which fork is for oysters? And yet this may be the only thing that we can care about. Just as cleanliness becomes more important at moments when godliness is not possible, so manners come to the fore when more august forms of authority collapse. When substance is ex except, uh, execrable, excuse me, uh, we must make form, we, may, we must make f form to do the work of content. The world is going to hell. All we can do all we can do is look up on the trip. I kind of stumbled there at the end, but yes. The world has gone to hell. And all we can do is look up on the trip. That was from 1989. The guy's a psychic. He predicted 2020. Trump 2016. This book your work. Fascinating, hilarious read. If you pick it up, highly suggest it. Modern Manners. I'll just flip to a random page here. Like I said, I haven't read it all. But, uh, let's see. Advice for Modern Women, page 87. The social role of women has undergone a radical change in recent years. This is a result of feminism and feminism, feminism, feminism is a result of a few ignorant and literal-minded women letting the cat out of the bag about which is the superior sex. Once women made it public that they could do things better than men, they were, of course, forced to do them. Now, women have to be elected to political office, get jobs as presidents of major corporations, and so on. Instead of ruling the earth by batting their eyelashes the way it used to be, or the way they used to. If mothers of Kate Millett and Susan B. Anthony had only taken more time to explain things to their daughters, it would have saved a lot of bother for more able and intelligent women like Margaret Thatcher. Now that's a joke. If you don't get it, you have to look up history of the 1980s and realize Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister of Britain. And that's kind of like an American British joke in there too. Like I said, fascinating writing, hilarious read. Um, 
I make a similar point in my new book, a manly book, which I am currently writing, which I will continue to write, and I would actually begin my newest chapter uh, sooner or later, soon, uh, referencing this book by Pedro Work. So, Pedro Work, I enjoy your your writing, your work. America lost a good satirist today and a good writer. Arts by Dylan, signing off.